We have had a great day together. Do you agree? This has been a fantastic day together at Opportunity Nation. We've come together today to discuss the challenges we face and the solutions that are out there and how we have to jumpstart the American dream, specifically getting more young adults on a pathway to success. We've heard from leaders from across the country, from all different backgrounds, all different sectors, and all parts of the ideological spectrum who agree on this goal. In particular, I know we've been inspired by the leadership and the thoughtfulness and the energy of the young people in the room today that have brought so much to today's event. We're so thankful for all of you participating um, in the summit today. But now, of course, the real work begins, right? Today was inspiring, it was exciting, it was hopefully fun for you to be here and connect with others, but the real work, the hard work begins tomorrow. That's why Opportunity Nation's plan culminates with a call to action, as I'm sure you've seen throughout the day with examining that document. It says to everyone, there's a role that you can play, big or small. We can all make a difference in the life of a young adult, whether we run a business, a nonprofit organization, or simply are engaged leaders and citizens in our own communities. Right now, there's a text poll that's gonna be on the screen. I want you to pull out your phone one last time, and I want you to really demonstrate how you're gonna join in this work. There are some examples of some elements of our call to action that are things that you can do to make a difference. So text now demonstrating to us which part of the call to action is most exciting and relevant to you. To demonstrate the momentum coming out of today um, and to show the unity that we all have together, you are now gonna hear briefly from several people who are already committing to do parts of this call to action in their own work and to send that challenge out to you all to join us. Whether they lead big organizations or lead change in their own street or block or community, these are truly fantastic leaders that we're so proud are a part of Opportunity Nation. So I want you to welcome them now as we're gonna hear from several outstanding folks that are gonna share with you what they're doing to take this call to action forward and to make a difference. And the first person that you're gonna hear from joining me now on stage is, is Stacy Stewart, Executive Vice President of United Way Worldwide. Stacy. Thank you, Russell. And we at United Way Worldwide are so pleased and so excited to uh, respond to the call to action um, by doing something that we think is really important. And there are lots of things that we're doing all across our national network. But one of the most critical things that, that we're committing to do is um, to respond to this call for mentoring. We know that every time there's a concerned and caring adult in the life of a young person, that young person is certainly on a path for success. And so that's why United Way Worldwide has announced uh, a goal to recruit one million uh, readers, tutors, and mentors to help young people succeed. And so we hope that this will be successful and a part of the call to action. Thank you, Stacey. Hi, my name is Anthony Britt, and I proudly serve as a program manager at City Air Boston. I'm really excited about this plan because as a Teach for America Corps member in the Mississippi Delta, I saw daily that overcoming the lack of opportunity and resources requires additional support beyond an effective educator in the classroom. I'm excited to lead a team of 12 young adults who are dedicated to serving in schools, making sure that students are in school and on track to graduate. I'm excited to serve and committed to this plan with Opportunity Nation and serve through City Air Boston because we don't just wait around for things to happen and things to get better, we make better happen. I'm Amber Cruz with Mobilize.org. Hello, everyone, um, out here in the audience. <laughs> and I wanted to share uh, my commitment on behalf of Mobilize.org, given our work to empower and invest in millennials uh, to create solutions to the problems that they're facing in the community. We are mobilizing young people across the country to talk to their elected officials and to uh, and create solutions to civic engagement that they can implement on their on their campuses and in their communities. And so I'm proud to be a member of the coalition and to work with all of you going forward to help support this work and to continue not just for the 2012 election, but beyond 2012 uh, to empower young people. Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Nelson from El Dorado, Arkansas serving Ouachita Calhoun County in Arkansas. I am extremely excited to be part of Opportunity Nation. Uh, I believe in this campaign and I support the campaign by taking action. Action to uh, engage at least 100 uh, low income, uh, disconnected and at risk youth through workshops that will provide them with the skill 
uh, and also to be able to look at their chosen pathway and what it entails and what it exactly uh, means to get to a pathway. Um, I, I believe, too, that this, they should be able to compete uh, in a global economy and in the 21st century. And I hope that the work that we'll do in Ouachita County for the low-income, disconnected, and at-risk youth will help. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Amy Saxton, and I'm the CEO of Summer Search, a national youth development nonprofit. I am thrilled and grateful to be a part of Opportunity Nation. We are helping empower the authentic voices of young people at Summer Search. We do that by having them serve on our alumni boards and having them serve on our governing board and actually helping to lead the organization forward. Perhaps most importantly, we work with 2,000 young people across the country, and like you heard from one of them, Chris Hill, this morning, we help them develop their authentic story and self-advocate for their own success. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Christopher Prada. I'm from Stockton, California. Um, currently, I'm working as an after-school educator on my friend Michael Tubbs' city council race in the Stockton City Council. And along with that, I'm a part of the Summer Success and Leadership Ac Academy, which is a student-run program where we help students create community action plans and opportunity youth set educational go goals in my city. And I'm really excited to answer this call to action to commit to the Opportunity Nation plan and play my role in this way. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Corinne Delaborto with World Vision. And uh, we do youth development work all around the nation, um, 12 different areas. And I think that the biggest connection I see is definitely under empowering young voices, particularly through our youth empowerment program, with this, which is a youth leadership and civic engagement program we have that enables high school students to uh, develop policy recommendations, do ad advocacy on their own, and connect with their public officials and really speak out um, and represent the young people in their communities. So we definitely see a connection there and are looking forward to empowering young voices. We are also a faith-based organization and I'm fully expecting us to engage in encouraging uh, faith-based groups all around the nation to get engaged in this shared plan and connect. So we look forward to working with you all. Thanks. I'm Rob Denson, president of Des Moines Area Community College. And uh, the, the important thing is to get the word out. Uh, when we had the governor sign a proclamation declaring February Opportunity Month in Iowa, that same day, a beloved governor from the past issued an editorial in our, in our statewide paper, the Des Moines Register. Tuesday before we came here, I had an editorial in the Des Moines Register talking about Opportunity Nation and Opportunity. Don't wait for an event to happen. You create the event and then invite the press. Go to... Go meet with your governor. Give him an award or certificate. Invite the press to take a picture. If you have anyone in your area that is well-respected, government official, actor, whatever it may be, meet with them and have them write for your local paper. Editorial comments are extremely important, particularly when it's from someone that everyone respects. So you need to have the, you need to go make it happen. You now have the tools you need. You have an agenda. So create an event and then invite the media. Commitments to action from these fantastic partners. And so now the question is, is posed to all of you. What commitment will you make? What will you do starting tomorrow to move this shared plan forward? Opportunity Nation is going to be elevating this plan and elevating some of the great solutions and work happening around the country during a week of action, October 8th through 15th. So go to our website, watch for more information about that and how you can be involved. Join the dialogue, learn your Opportunity Index score, take action, and make a difference. Thank you all so much for being a part of this and for committing to join us in this shared plan starting tomorrow. We can make a difference together.